I think one thing we can all agree on as Disney Cars collectors is that everyone for the most part loves next gen piston cop racers and the piston cop in general. I mean, it's the race in the cars universe and we're all pretty fascinated with racing. I mean, that's kind of why we all love these cars movies in the first place. And so naturally, we want to see more of them in the cars diecast line. The unfortunate part is that it took Mattel nearly three years to realize that, that we love next gen racers, but the good thing is, is that they've caught on finally and now they're pumping so many next gens into all their lines in every way, shape or form. As for the basics, they may not be releasing that many new next gens, but they're releasing a lot of them. And for their mini line here in this box is the pretty much the first time that they release more than one next gen racer at a time. Maybe you could say Danny and Tim were released around the same time, but there are so many new releases, stock cars and next gens in this box. It's unfathomable, honestly. I don't know all that's in this box, but I'm pretty sure we'll get mini racers Conrad Camber, Todd the Pizza Planet truck, which is not a next gen or anything, but everybody loves Todd. Sheldon Shifter and Brick Yardley along with maybe Harvey Rodcap, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, like all these case unboxings are, they're a mystery. So we're going to dive right in here. Obviously, these boxes are way smaller than the single 155 scale cars, but there are way more of them. There's 36 in here versus 24, and they will be in the little boxes that they come in nowadays. And it is KC, so it's the third assortment of these boxed mini racers, which I have found in Meyer stores, but apparently they have not been too plentiful elsewhere, unfortunately. Meyer is only a Midwest region store, so hopefully, though, they'll become a little bit more widespread, and maybe even other stores like Target and Walmart will take on the mini racers line. But anyways, I got this from my usual seller, Get Me Collectibles. I'll put his contact info in the description below if you'd like one of these cases or just wanna go on eBay and buy them individually. So we're gonna use the trusty T. He's been promoted from backup color. Now it's a full color after that one incident with the key. Okie doke. So this comes with like the box that they would display at the store, which I find really cool actually because it gives us a nice little display. Something I can put in the background of my videos, even though I did take one from a store before. Don't worry though, I bought something along with it. Now we're going to try and get this out of the box without damaging it because it is kind of flimsy cardboard. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna get rid of the box. So yeah, here's your in-store packaging. So, hmm, guess you have to bend this down. I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know how they would utilize this. It doesn't seem long enough. Hmm. Maybe they're assuming there's not full mini racers in there at all times. I don't know, but it is kind of strange that I can't really get the flap to display properly, but I might just be an idiot. Like I just said properly, like properly. Anyways though, here are all the cars in the box. As you can see, they're marking RV for some reason as the chase piece, which apparently means that there's less of him in this box which I just don't understand at all because he's a re-release. Whereas, you know, look at all these new releases that they could have identified as a chase, but perhaps they're trying to sell more of these. So that's why that they um, are trying to put more of them in the case. I don't know. That's just my guess. So yeah, Harvey Rodcap, Brickyardly, Todd, Bruce Miller. That's an interesting one. Conrad Camber and Sheldon Shifter. So I just forgot about Bruce. Oh, and Heyday Smokey down here as well. And then you have the King, which is a nice inclusion as well, because he has not been released, I believe, regularly. Has he? I think he must have. I have forgotten. There are so many mini racers now. But of course, we are running into the issue, which is what numbers are which? So this is 35. Is there any way of telling? No, these codes don't give anything away. I'm gonna have to go online and do some scoutage. 
Because, yeah, this guy's 39 and this guy's 40, but is there a 35 on the back here? No. Oof. All right, I'll be right back with all the numbers marked down so we can unbox the ones that we actually need. All right, so after doing some internet investigation, I have found the checklist for these box minis, and this is actually fishtail, so we don't need fishtail. We need 29 through 34 plus 25. So I guess we're going to just weave through the box here and find them, which will be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited for it, and I'll talk to you guys about life as we do this. So that's another 35. Don't need him. It's fishy. This guy's bouncing around in the box. This is 34. We need 34. I don't know, remember who it was exactly. These boxes are very hard to open. But we're going to just tear into this like it doesn't even matter. Not even trying to preserve the box. I just cut my fingernails too, so I can't really get under the flaps. Dang, I nearly ripped that one off. All right. Oh my goodness, look who it is. It is Harvey Rodcap. So one of the most rare or the rarest next gens and one of the most desirable ones as well has now been released as a mini racer. So this is pretty exciting. You know, they are choosing some rather strange next gens to release. Like they're just kind of going eeny, meeny, miny, mo. it seems, and picking random ones like Aaron Clocker, you know. All of the Amazon exclusives, except for Dan Carcia, you know, like Aaron Clocker and Bruce Miller and this guy, they've all now been released. And when I say Aaron Clocker, he is in the next case, along with Dud Throttleman, Blind Spot, Jack DePost, and Paul Conrev. So there you have it. They look pretty solid. This guy's a little darker gray, though, and it's a little more metallic -y. Interesting. So we'll set him over here by his dad. That's weird. I totally thought they had something else in here instead of just the car. I mean, I feel like that's an error. I mean, if I shake this, there's no movement in there. But I shook that and there was nothing else in the box. That is so strange to me. Here's another 35. So that's another fish tail. So this one's moving around too. And this is another one we need. That is so strange. I really want to open fish tail and see what's inside. Here we go with Sheldon Shifter. So this one had been previewed a long time ago and is just now finally being released. Speaking of like a general public release, I don't believe these have been released to the retail stores just yet. And if they have, they've been released very minorly. So you can see they have been made or produced in the 36th week of the year. So kind of strange that the mini racers in these boxes have been so limited and mini racers in general, the only ones that are easy to find are the three packs. Because that's, you know, the line that Walmart and Target both carry. So it is kind of strange. Oop. Almost dropped them. Wouldn't be a surprise with my clumsy hands. So we're not going to compare all the new mini racers. That could be done in a future video. But this really is just an unboxing and display of some of these awesome new mini racers that Mattel has finally decided to just indulge us with. Okay, 32. Was that 32? I believe it was. It was. So this is another Sheldon. So yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, they have a lot of the same racers. They have a lot of the new ones in here, which is great. So if you know, somebody comes along and buys a Sheldon or even two. There's still one left. Same thing. That is another Harvey there. That's 34. It's another 34. 33. We need this one. I don't know why these are all floating around in the box. Because the fishtails had some sort of packing material in there. So here we go with Heyday Smokey. This guy's sweet. This guy's another one that's been previewed for a long time. In fact, he was supposed to be released earlier on with Leroy Hemming and I believe Doc in a three pack. And that still is coming, but it's just been mildly, or I should say drastically postponed. Here's your regular Smoky Mini Racer. They really do a great job with these minis. Thailand does make them, but the decals are a little bit better because they're smaller. And of course, when you you know, small or I don't know what a good word for that would be condensed graphics, I guess you could say, or compress them. The quality goes up because there's less 
distance between pixels and whatever and all that technical stuff. So there are some mini racer gurus out there, some people that are really into these mini racers and not to say I'm not into mini racers, but I just don't get on it as much as some other people do. People are like, you know, they know these numbers by memory. They know them by the palm of their hand. All right, we need 30 here. I do not, you know, I just buy the new ones and I always go online to check to see the codes because I don't remember them. So here we have Bruce Miller. So this guy is really cool, actually. I was really excited about this one. Of course, the Amazon exclusive RPM racer for Cars 3. He may get a re-release in the future, but it seems like right now he's staying exclusive to that Amazon set. I love the tires. They're so thick, and I love the orange and light gear there. It looks great. Really, really does look good. His expression almost matches the 155 scale version, too, from what I recall. All right. We have 30 here. Pretty sure we need 30. Did I just open? I always forget which one I just opened. We just opened 30. Come on, Disney Docket. What am I doing today? I'm all over the place. We need 29. 31. Did I open 31? Pretty sure I did. I've opened 34. I've opened 30, I've opened 32, and I've opened 33, so I've not opened 31 yet. Okay. I just don't want to open any I don't have to. Okay, here we go. This one's also awesome. Conrad Camber here. Now, what I love about him is that the decals are so smooth and they just blend with them so well. They give off this fantastic metallic sparkly vibe here with the golden star. And of course, the green in the front there looks metallic. Really nice job with him, as you can see here, compared to the 155 scale version, who's not nearly as metallic or shiny as the Mini Racer is. Even the rookie stripes are kind of like a gold foil. That's awesome. He did a phenomenal job with Conrad. Okay, so I think that means we only need 25 and 29 which would be Brick Yardley and Todd the Pizza Planet Truck. Here is Brick Yardley. 29. I'll put these codes in the description below, by the way, so you guys can reference my video if you ever find these or want to buy them. I feel like this was an essential release. I'm surprised that they did not release him sooner because they released Cal Weathers and Bobby Swift a long time ago. So very past due here is Brick Yardley, another phenomenal stock car release. I really do like the Mattel is just giving into our desires and releasing exactly what we want. And that is a bunch of piston car racers, stock car and next gen. So, you know, like I said, in the next case, you have Jack the Post, Aaron Clocker, Paul Conrev, and Doug Throttleman for the new racers, along with a measly blind spot demolition derby car, which they also tend to like to release a lot of those, but those just simply aren't as popular. So yeah, here Brick, comparing him to the stock car. Really, really nice. Let me know in the comment section below which mini out of this case, out of the new ones, the ones that we're talking about here, is your favorite? I'm not sure yet. It's probably going to be Todd. So I guess we are saving the best for last, but not intentionally. So we're looking for 25. And that is 29. So when do you guys go back to school? I go back on the 14th. That's when I start again. So let me know when you guys have to go back. Unfortunately, it's something sad, but we all have to do it. Let's make the best out of it. If you're a senior in high school, enjoy your last semester. You know, some of you guys think, ah, it's school. How am I going to enjoy it? But seriously, though, enjoy the time with those friends that you've made throughout the years. Because you may not see much of them after your second semester. I know it's sad to think about that, but it's just kind of how it goes. And it seems like they have hidden Todd in this box somewhere, somewhere. 
My goodness. Almost makes me think that Todd's supposed to be the chase. You've got to be stroking me. How are we not at Todd yet? These have to be Todd. And they are. Both of them are 25. Oh my gosh, I made a mess. I took out nearly every box. I took out every box, in fact. So this is the cash cow of the case here. Very excited to get Todd. And oh my gosh, see, they put packing around it. And this is why I don't understand. Why are they putting a little zip lock bag on some of these racers, but not on others? Doesn't make any sense to me. But nonetheless, here is Todd the Pizza Plant truck. And it looks like they're taking after his car's one paint job where he has the dirt and he's a little bit more banged up. Which makes sense. I mean, if he's in the Demolition Derby as well, he would be a little banged up. But the one that they released for Cars 3 that was exclusive to Walgreens was perfectly clean, which I find strange. But note here that there is no license plate on Todd. There never has been. But they did put one on the Mini Racer, which is awesome. They also put decals on the window. That is phenomenal that they're paying such close attention to decals and details on such a small item whereas on the big boys they forgot a whole bunch of stuff now what is upsetting to me is that i pulled a chipped one it was a 50 50 chance i would assume assuming the other one's not chipped as well and i pulled the chipped one look at that narrowly chip on the bumper there that sucks almost makes me want to open up the other one but we're gonna refrain for now and just look at his face but yeah, let's actually take a look at his decals though, seriously. There's the Pizza Planet truck logo covered up with some dirt. He's got his little blimp on top, which really doesn't look good at all. It's kind of like melting into his body, whereas it looks nice and firm there. But I mean, what are you gonna do when it's such a small car? You can't make this a separate plastic piece. That's just unethical. So it looks good for what it is. So you have a little smiley, or not a smiley face, kind of like a crabby face over there on the left. And you have 55 there on the right, which may be a reference to McQueen's original number. And then a red bar. And then his license plate is RES1536. Not sure what that means. Rest stop, I would think maybe, because they did initially find him at a rest stop in Toy Story. That's where the Pizza Planet truck was, I believe but not sure where 1536 comes from, but it must have some significance. Obviously they're taking this from the Toy Story movie. But yeah, this is probably my favorite. It would be more so my favorite if he didn't have that chip, which is just ironic to me because he was included with a bag, a packing bag, whereas the other ones did not and they ended up okay. <laughs> That's Mattel for you. That is the logic of Mattel. So thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Something I've never done before. Yeah, believe it or not, I've never done a mini racers unboxing. So let me know if you want to see more of these. I could review the other case that has, okay, that's not going to work. Could review the other case with, what's his face? Doug Throttleman, Aaron Clocker, and all those. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I could definitely invest in that and make something work. So thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys soon for yet some more awesome content before I have to head back to college, which is sad, but it just is what it is. Hopefully I'll be able to do some videos while I'm in school though, you know, record them here and then edit them while I'm at school. That's usually what I do. So thanks again. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.